Hey YouTube, so I want to talk about the importance of warming up your pitcher before uh, they start their inning. It does a couple things. Uh, normally what I like to do is look and see their different repertoire of pitches and see which one is their weakest pitch. So for Alex Wood, his pitch is the two, look like the two seam fastball and the knuckle curve. So I want to work on those to build up their, their confidence meter, which is the blue bar next to the button icon that represents that pitch. So you normally get eight pitches. I've already thrown one, which was for the two seam fastball. But as you watch, warming up your pitcher does two things. The first thing it does is see the ready meter that is underneath the pitcher's name. It help, It continues to fill that up so that your pitcher is the most ready to throw his pitches. So as I, I'm going to hit square to throw a two seam fastball, and location of the pitch is not important. I just usually leave it down center, and then you just try to throw it as accurate as possible. So watch my ready meter, you'll see it fill up. After I get ready to throw it, when I get ready to throw a pitch, you'll see it fill up. So I have six pitches remaining, but when you go back to the pitching meter, you'll see that my two seam fastball is starting, the meter is starting to fill up. I'll throw another one and watch the ready meter. When I hit the button to throw my pitch, the ready meter should start increasing a little bit. See that? So that's that's what it's doing. It's actually uh, helping to improve your pitcher. So it's important not to skip these. I know they can seem kind of mundane. And so look at my two seam fastball. You see that it's starting to, to fill up. So what you're essentially doing is taking the weaker pitches and bringing them up to be more uh, respectable pitches that you can get movement on for your pitcher and uh, this kind of helps him become a little more well well rounded once he actually enters the game or faces a batter because you know of course in the order of the confidence of the pitches uh, it goes square circle triangle I'm sorry it goes X circle triangle square I believe so let's go ahead and build up the knuckle curve a little bit more we have four pitches remaining after so then we got three pitches remaining but look at my ready bar it's, it's actually filling up it's almost at the top probably in about actually about three more pitches it, it should be full and you know you see my knuckle curve and my two seam fastball are now increased in their confidence so that those pitches have the best movement or velocity so now I'm going to just spend the last three pitches on my four seam fastball and my changeup. I probably put two on the fastball and then one more on the changeup. So actually, it's like in one pitch, uh, my pitcher will be completely ready, but I want to spend all eight pitches on making sure that uh, he has the best uh, possible. Um, the velocity and movement on every pitch he has. And again, you know, location is not important when you're warming up. I mean, you can, it's, well, I'll take that back. It's important if you want to see exactly, if you're trying to paint the corners, how your pitcher, how his pitch changes. You know, sometimes you may have like a curveball or a slider that you know if you move it over to one side of the corner or another it may not go exactly to the spot that you want it to go but you can kinda of see how to compensate for that once you actually are facing the battle. Let's throw one for the changeup. Alright so that's how you get your pitcher ready uh, by using your warm-up pitches so always take advantage of those again I know they can seem kind of uh, kind of unnecessary in a sense but they do have a purpose even though your pitcher may say he's ready especially from like the bullpen but you also want to look and see you know how strong of how strong are the pitches that they actually have in their in their arsenal and when if they're weak then you want to make sure you spend that uh that warm-up session to improve them so now you look at me the two seam and the knuckle curve which were weak pitches for me and they now actually are a lot stronger so as you can see here, this is showing you, you know, visual proof of the increase of my pitches from using those warm-up pitches. So when you look at the two-seam fastball 
and the knuckle curve in comparison before warm-up and after warm-up you can definitely see that I improved the the performance of those pitches so that when I go into the, the actual batter confrontation that I'm more prepared and my pitches will have better movement and or velocity behind them which will hopefully improve my performance of my pitcher overall so in a nutshell don't uh, take the warm-up pitches for granted and skip it um, take advantage of it build up your pitches get your pitcher prepared and uh, it will increase your chances of a better outing so the next time it's your boy mr. Lux aka the merry gamer and follow me on Twitter at mr. Lux don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'm out peace